Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name's Holotide, and today we're going to talk more about Marathon, why it wasn't at the PlayStation State of Play, and what we can expect going forward. In this video, I'm going to refer to a Forbes article by Paul Tassie, so that link will be in the description. But apparently, we won't be seeing anything about Marathon until the spring of 2025, and that could be a massive detriment to the game. 2025 is really shaping up to be like a huge year for video games. Not only do you have Grand Theft Auto 6, but you have Fable, the Dune Awakening game, Gears of War E-Day, State of Decay 3, Monster Hunter Wilds. It's really shaping up to be a good year. And with Marathon going up against, say, I don't know, a release of Grand Theft Auto 6 multiplayer's mode, it's not looking too hot. The game will really have to launch in a very good, well-polished state for people to want to play it even after they kind of move on to other games and want to come back to Marathon. But I've seen a lot of people complaining or just worried that there was nothing from Bungie at the PlayStation State of Play. According to Paul Tassi, there's not going to be any significant reveals showcasing Marathon until the spring of 2025. So that doesn't, I mean, that doesn't mean the release is going to be spring. So it's got to be after that summer, fall. And that puts you in prime time gaming real estate. There's going to be a lot of competition. He did say there might be a shorter video from Joe Ziegler where he will basically introduce himself and clear up some things about the game, such as like the hero shooter stuff, things like that. But that's not a guarantee. Another point of contention has been the art style that Marathon has in this new reboot, how it doesn't really look like the old Marathon. So you can take this with, you know, however you view it, but he says that the art direction and aesthetics that Chris Barrett had made that were in that first trailer are actually leaned even more heavily into with how positive the response was. We've talked about what kind of hero shooter, class shooter marathon is going to be, and it seems now like the closest comparison is Apex Legends, but will obviously have more customization. There are heroes with individual personalities and unique abilities, with skill trees. There are also universal implants where you can further customize your character. Now, obviously, the weapons, guns are going to be the most important part of customization. So there's a huge emphasis on that. He also says that the $40 price tag is real and that it's too far along in development with how they've kind of uh, monetized the game to go back to free to play. So it looks like it's going to be a $40 game. It doesn't matter how Concord did. And it'll still have, you know, a shop and a battle pass. So I don't know. You're really going to have to sell people on how good this game is for it to be $40. There's got to be like a, a ton of like beta play test stuff, you know, open weekends and everything to get people to want to buy into it, I think. But we shall see. It's kind of crazy because uh, Paul actually says that somebody with a huge source of knowledge with Marathon Details actually spoke to him about all of this and we had just talked about in another video about how there was a, you know, scheduled leak maybe coming from Bungie, and this might be that. He also has a, a point near the end of the article where he talks about the Marathon team is 300 people, but the majority of Bungie is still on Destiny 2, which kind of blows my mind. But again, with how everything has been going with Bungie, with the kind of lukewarm player reception to Destiny 2 and how they've kind of... Uh, I, I don't know. There's been, there's been a lot of bad PR around Bungie recently, so they're really going to have to knock it out of the park with Marathon. Maybe that's why they're taking so long to talk about it or show anything, because they really know that they have to blow people away with whatever they show. I've seen people say that this is going to be like the death of Bungie and stuff like that, and I, I honestly don't know. I mean, if they're putting all their eggs into Marathon's basket, I do think that it would be kind of easy for them to go back to Destiny 2. I think they just released a developer thing where they talk about a new raid and a new dungeon. So Destiny 2 isn't like completely dead. There's still new content coming, but uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm worried about this game. I wanted Marathon to be good. I was definitely going to give it a shake because of Marathon and, you know, Bungie's gunplay has always been so good. 
but I don't know what the wider audience is gonna feel. I would love to know in the comments down below how you feel about the $40 price tag. Do you even care about extraction shooters? Are you a Destiny 2 player who doesn't care about Marathon? Just let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. Also, if you enjoyed the video and you wanna stay up to date on Marathon, I also make Halo content because I love Halo. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. I know like 90% of you watch my videos, do not subscribe. I know YouTube has changed. A lot of people watch videos from their recommended and homepage, but it would help me out if you subbed. Again, make sure you leave a like and I will catch you all in the next one.